Hi everyone, how are you? I'm okay, um, I'm great in the grand scheme of things, but the last few days I've just been feeling a little down and just struggling a little bit. So you know what I thought would really cheer me up? do my favorite thing, look at crazy house tours with you. So we're gonna do that and it's gonna be great and it's gonna make me happy and it's gonna make you happy. And hopefully it'll be a nice, relaxing, calming experience for both of us. So I don't have as many houses as I do some days. I usually do like eight I have six today. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I have six houses today that are interesting. So today we've kind of got a blend of half are like really bougie, crazy rich houses like we typically look at. The other three are still really expensive houses, but they are surprising houses. So, you know, I love when we throw out a house that's like looking at the front, you wouldn't expect what you're gonna see inside. So, we've got three of those today. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really fun, I think. Um, let's just get started. I'm super excited. Let's jump into the houses. Ooh, here we are starting out in California, land of the super rich homes, am I right? So this one is a ten and a half million dollars, four bedrooms, four full baths, one partial. The interior is a little over six thousand square feet, and it's sitting on a lot of land, to be fair, almost one and a half acres. Um, it looks like it's gonna have stunning views just from this picture. So, let's go ahead and start the tour. I burnt my tongue not that long ago. I had some soup dumplings for lunch. You guys may or not be able to tell that dumplings are my favorite food, so I eat them a lot. And, um, I had some soup dumplings that look like this for lunch, and classic me, classic a lot of people eating soup dumplings, I burned my tongue, and now it really hurts. <laughs> but anyway, that has nothing to do with the house. I found the front door. At least I think it's the front door. It's a door. It's really big. If it's not the front door, I would be very surprised. I love these giant front doors. They're so extra, and I feel like opening it, if I had this door, you know, every it would feel like a chore, but they're just so dramatically big and heavy looking. I kind of love it. A lot of wood. And the wood is gone. But I like the wood panels for the ceiling. I think it's very nice looking. Staircase down there, and look at this beautiful living room right here. Wow, I'm very interested in this, uh... Oh, at first I thought it was like a school of fish swimming. It kind of resembles a school of fish, but it's like shards of glass instead. It's very pretty. I really like... I like that. And, um, yeah, as I suspected, the view is stunning. I suspect that's a big part of what you're paying for in the 10 million great view in California. Because definitely we've seen houses where you can get a lot more house, a lot more than 6,000 square feet for the same price, if not less. Ooh, is that a fish pond? I think that's a fish pond out front. Let's see if we can do the 360, the garage. Okay, it doesn't really show us the fish pond, which is a little disappointing. Interesting that they've, they've got a similar design here, where it looks like a school of fish. 
and then this was like the wine uh, closet <laughs> I guess it's a wine room but it's like a closet and there's even a ladder here so you can access the top wine at the top that's kind of fun I mean again as someone who doesn't drink these rooms are just crazy to me and I'm like how would I repurpose this? Do you guys, I know some of you have said that when you're like looking at these videos of mine or you're looking at your own houses on your own time that you picture yourself like living in all these places I totally do that In fact, every single time I'm going through one of these houses I'm thinking, where would I put my recording studio? <laughs> I always do that Literally any house I look at, I'm thinking, where would my office go? Where's the ASMR room? The kitchen is very plain, minimalist Some people's taste, not everyone's I'd say this is probably not one of my favorite kitchens It's maybe a little too minimalist for me But I love this view here would kind of make it encouraging to wash your dishes I think it's funny, they have a scrub daddy <laughs> The name kills me I actually, so I have a bunch of them I usually get a big like six pack from Costco And the one I'm using is green, just like that I bought a special little soap dish for it to sit on But I, I think having a thing in the sink also makes a lot of sense Um I think this is one of those special faucets I don't know if you've ever seen these before They... and this sounds so dangerous to me It can pour boiling water So you see like the little red button at the bottom? Like if that's on, the water's gonna come out boiling So it could really speed up your water boiling time on the stove Just fill up your pot with already boiling water and then you can go straight to cooking And then usually there's like another setting for like It'll do carbonated water or something, you know? But I just always imagine If that were me, I'm gonna burn my hand at some point It's gonna happen, I'm gonna stick my hand in hot boiling water I just know it So <laughs> Here I am not being able to afford one of those systems at all being like I think I'll pass on the on the boiling water from the tap. But I'll pass. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about these videos is when me being too poor to step foot in these houses is like, no thanks. I'll take an extra thousand square feet. He's <laughs> funny. Hello. So, ooh, the pool area is gorgeous oh, It looks really, really lovely Can you imagine hosting, having a party out here? Swimming with this beautiful view And what's really nice is that there's no immediate neighbors You can see houses off in the distance But you could, you could comfortably walk out here, I think And it doesn't feel like anyone's looking down on you, so you have quite a bit of privacy Privacy? I don't know why I said privacy Um, in a really, really nice summer kitchen Yeah, I bet you could have- where am I? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Where am I? I think I'm below the- I'm really lost now Take me back to the 3D tour Was that like down there? I don't know, I think I need to go around the house a little bit more So far, I really like it, it's definitely up my alley I love a combination of modern and nature I think it's called organic modern When you kind of blend the two, and that's one of my favorite styles So is this uh, just closets? Okay. Like a mudroom area next to the garage a Laundry room Nice, very big Laundry room and electronic room. 
would you call this? I don't know. This is a rich people thing. Having like a huge space just for all your like hot water heaters and all that. Yeah. Don't know what I would even be called. Okay, before we go downstairs, is this a master suite here? No, it's an office with a really fun floor to ceiling window view. Beautiful. I'm loving this view. I think we found the master suite. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was gonna have these gorgeous uninterrupted views and I was right. It looks really, really cozy. And I bet on cool evenings it's fun to open those up. I would be terrified that like my cat would jump into it and fall. Like my cats are silly. But tell me what do you guys think about these like giant headboards that are like this and sometimes they have built in nightstands and stuff because to me they give off a hotel room vibe um, which can be nice I suppose this one feels very corporate sweet hotel room it's even got like built-in lights which look like they kind of telescope out which is okay not telescope that's not the right word fold it's kind of cool um that it does feel hotel -y. This is very nice though. There's so many 360s right out here. Okay, so we have private. What's going on down there? Oh, it's so nice. A little private balcony. And I assume the bathroom is back here. Weird that we have a totally different floor in here. I'm assuming that because that's wood and this is probably wood look tile. It looks like it's tile. I wonder if it's heated tile. That's what really bougie places will do. So that on cold winter mornings when you step out of bed or you step out of the shower or something, it's like warm under your feet. I stayed in a Airbnb in London that had uh, heated floors and that was amazing because it was in the middle of winter while we were there, so every morning we stepped onto this, like, just perfectly lightly warm floor. So bougie, so nice. <laughs> it's a really nice, um, it's a really nice bathroom. Oh, there's stairs over there. I like the backlit mirror, that's quite pretty. Closet is not huge, but there are two of them. Is that a laundry room behind it? Oh, this is the laundry room from earlier. I didn't even notice that they connected. I hear I was thinking there was a completely new laundry room. That's so clever. I always really enjoy when they incorporate in a, a laundry room into it because it just makes so much sense to me. And it also, to me, feels a little bit... Ooh, what do you think of this sink? It's cool. It feels more like you, the homeowner, are doing the housework. If you're trying to make it easier on you, you know? Otherwise, if the, the main closet and the laundry room are like two floors away, I'm like, someone else is schlepping all that clothes to the laundry room. It's not the homeowner, it's someone's being paid to do that. So it's I, more relatable for us, I think, if they have a. if it seems like the homeowner's doing the work. Okay, so we have like a little den room, another nice guest bath, closet space maybe, another. See, this one seems to have a Jack and Jill bathroom. Oh, and there's a real cute, like, little... It also feels kind of hotel-y, like everyone's got their own private walkout balcony. I don't... That artwork is odd. <laughs> See? It goes straight into another room. Yep. Although I like the windows up there. And I think 
that's it, so I don't know why I hit view floor plan, I meant to hit dollhouse. So this is, um, where were we when we were, there's so many different, like, 3D, oh, okay, so look, we can go all the way down here, oh, hot tub, very fancy, many jets, hot tub. secluded down here. Very cute. And it looks like you could get there from the master bedroom, so you could be like, leave your room and come down there. See? You go straight down here and then down there. Uh, I like it. It's very nice. At a very reasonable ten million dollars. Okay, let's make our way to our next house. We are still in California. Obviously, there's like loads of expensive homes there. This one is specifically in San Francisco, well known for being a pricey city to live in. So, this might be an apartment. No, it's just the single family home, never mind. And it's, um, oh, it's much more reasonable than the last one. It's only just under nine million. Also four bedrooms, six full bathrooms, but the size is 4,800 square feet. Um, I'm, I'm already very intrigued, but I've seen, I've seen light pieces like this before and I think I like them, I think. Okay, let's go inside. I can't tell if this is the front door or not because it looks front door-y, but then look at this, it says exit to lower floors. Also, there's no- there's nothing to click. Like, I don't know why it says click to exit to lower floors, lower floors. <laughs> but it's not really- there's nothing there. Um, it has that fancy under, uh, stair lighting. Very extra. Ooh, I'm very intrigued by it so far. I quite like the style. It feels kind of town homey with the stairs like immediately right out there. What's beyond this little door? Is it a okay? So it's like one of those San Francisco row houses, I suspect, which is why it feels townhousey. It's very narrow and long, probably. There's a bedroom right here in the front. Oh, I guess bedroom looks very nicely designed. We can see the classic hilled streets of San Francisco with the cars parked like this. <laughs> and um, a closet. No, a bathroom. Nice, simple, clean, modern layout. <laughs> I just wouldn't want to be in the front because Feels like a lot more people walking by. That's why it makes sense to put like an office or I guess bedroom in the front of your house. Um, you want your suite to be in the back, I feel like, ideally. There must be another property like right there, that hence they've got these like privacy windows, which I like. I think that's a nice idea. If you don't have a good view to look at, then still give someone natural lighting by giving you a window like that. And there's one in the bathroom as well. They're not huge bedrooms, but real estate in San Francisco is very expensive. Very tiny little laundry room, but it's doing the trick. Okay, enter into... is this the main bedroom? It has the the air of the main bedroom, I think, like sitting area. Now this is interesting. We can see into the bath through the bedroom. What do you think about that? It's it is interesting. It looks like a really nice tub to sit and soak in. It's very very nice. I find it interesting that you have the privacy window here, not here, but it does look like it has a good view of San Francisco. 
little tiny toilet room I think overall it's kind of cool that it has like this little windowed corner um, I think it's kind of neat kind of like it what's over in this corner oh that's a window I thought that was a piece of art <laughs> from back here look I thought it was I thought it was artwork <laughs> I mean that's nice right have a beautiful view right out your window this is a nice closet with even a little built-in vanity and a poof that looks like it was made from a cow <laughs> fluffy island cow <laughs> okay what did he say click for level four click for level two and click for level one if i click it's not gonna happen anyway we haven't even been upstairs yet so let's go Yeah, the design of this place is very interesting, and I love what's happening here with these no with these air plants. They mainly look like air plants. They have that telltale kind of curly and fine look, but I love this. I love those like wall planters. Yeah, they're very cool. I really like this, and I think um. You know, like being on the second floor inside your home while still getting to see so much greenery is must make you feel nice. I think looking at greenery is said to improve your mental health. I feel like I read that somewhere. <laughs> Maybe I'm out here making facts up, but ah, my tongue still really hurts. <laughs> wow, this is a one heck of an office. Do you reckon that's a Murphy bed? That for sure something is coming down there and there are retractable like a door so you could shut this off with a double paned fireplace really nice and it's got the it's got the, the Belle Beauty and the Beast bookshelves there's probably a word from that I'm gonna call them the Beauty and the Beast Bookshelves. Isn't this the most quintessentially San Francisco street? Very cute. I also really like this skylight right there. I love a skylight. Man, I do. Is this a bathroom in here? Oh, I like this bathroom. The sink thing is really interesting. This is a fun, this is a fun bathroom. And I've got dining space. We've got these more of those really fun frosted windows and we've entered the kitchen. This was the the view we had. So oh it's just a lift, okay. Oh we've got one of those backlit agate kind of um is it I don't know what stone it is, but you know, they're like very, very pricey. And more skylights. I just can't imagine how cozy it must be to like sit here at night and it's raining and you can hear that on the roof and see it falling. Oh, that's one of my favorite noises the sound of rain hitting either an umbrella or something soft, a car roof. Umbrella is really good though because it makes that in fabric noise and it's so good. You can see into someone else's home though. <laughs> That's a little awkward. Like can they see straight in here? I have to assume they can. If we can see into there, they can see in. All oh, the underlit lighting. It's a very minimalist backsplash but it's kind of interesting. It's uh, a very nice uh, kitchen. Let's go onto the little balcony. Wow. Look at that view. Yeah, I can understand why this place is so expensive. And then there was another floor. Yes. It's, I think, a rooftop. I'm just guessing based on the fact that it says 360. Yeah, look how much taller these are. 
Oh my gosh, never mind, it gets even taller. This is a lovely feeling rooftop though. I love all the greenery they've added. Wow, some really, really cool massive succulents and I feel like someone with a green thumb must live here. Honestly, I think this is a very nice house. Um, I don't even typically enjoy row home style kind of homes. I don't know why, just I guess it's because I didn't grow up with that kind of house. Now, did it go all the way up to... See, I told you nothing was going to happen. I don't, I don't know. I think that's the whole house though. Um, yep, that was the San Francisco home. I really like that one. Um, do I like it more than the last one? I don't know. We got another really, really bougie home to check out though, so let's go on to that one. Alright, we're finally moving away from California, quite far away from California, to Dominican. This one's in the DR, the Dominican Republic, and I think it's this home right here. I love how insanely exclusive this home is. It's like, look, you have to cross this little bridge to get there, and there's only these huge sprawling complexes around it. Like, this is bougie. I feel like, and this is a very silly line of thinking, this would be great in a zombie apocalypse. Everyone would be like holing up in their really bougie homes and they just close the bridge or like <laughs> destroy the bridge. If the zombies can swim though, then I feel like that's not good, but anyway, let's find out about it. Uh, Nine million dollar homes are of a similar uh, price today, but this is a nine bedroom home. Now that is more befitting of like a nine million price tag to me than like when it's like twenty million four bedrooms. <laughs> Although I suppose it is one million per bedroom. <laughs> Eleven full bathrooms and a partial bath. You could practically use a different toilet every day for almost two weeks straight. <laughs> The interior is 20,000 square feet. Uh, yeah, that's more like it. But the lot size is smaller at just under an acre. Um, I don't even remember how big the lot size was on the San Francisco home. Anyway, it looks really interesting from above, so I'm really eager to see it from the ground floor. Let's jump into it. I think I found the front door. It's weird because there's the road, there's that cul-de-sac, but there's like not a driveway or some sort of path. You just walk on the grass up to this point. All the water though is so nice. Look at that. It's really pretty. I love that walkway and the water. And it's got one of those insane, massive doors. And it opens into a courtyard of more water. I love water. Hello? What are you doing here? Ah, oh, this must lead to the garage. I can't really go in there though. I kind of love these homes when it's like you go through the front door and you're still outside. Just like extra level of fancy, you know? You've got a courtyard that you have to pass through, but it's like serene and lovely. And I love when a house blends what's outside, what's inside. You don't know. It's all enmeshed. The store is, looks like it, it's like half open. It's not even fully a door. It's like a giant fake dragonfly on the wall. That is interesting. So I don't even know where to go. I don't even... You know a house is so fancy when you're just like, which way do I go? Was this a resort? Whoa, oops. 
No, this looks personal. Look at the family photos. Mickey is here. Oh, don't zoom in on kids, no. <laughs> okay. Th yeah, this stri strikes me as a real family home, despite the fact that it looks like a fancy resort. There's all these personal trip photos. I see the Taj Mahal. I see the Great Pyramids. This is a very rich family who has traveled to a lot of places and really likes Catan. I liked Catan when I was younger. I've since been introduced to a lot better games. Like, I can understand how Catan is a good gateway board game, because I wouldn't say it was even like one of my first bigger board games, but I don't even think... Do I own a copy of Catan still? I don't know. Catan, Ticket to Ride, those were some of my like starter board games before I tried others. Okay, this is our first bedroom. Oh, with the built-ins. Now they look cool, but this would be the Shin Stubber 5000 right here. I just know I would be banging my legs on that corner or there, like in the middle of the night trying to stumble back into bed or something, you know? Oh my gosh, the, a, a view of another courtyard though. Wow, I love it. Let's see a bathroom. Oh. Um, it's an interesting... Is that stone? Can't tell if that's little stones or a textured wallpaper. I'm leaning towards stone. Here. Yeah, they are, that's stone. Wow. I mean, we knew this place was fancy. Okay, let's continue down this hallway. I'm gonna get lost. I mean, this place is... 20,000 square feet. What's in here? Calligraphy. This is 2019 512. Is this the main bedroom? I don't know. These people definitely love Eastern decor. There's a lot Really nice architecture. Wow. Okay, there's something about this insane, bougie, half outdoors, half inside bathroom contrasting with these little nautical stickers. <laughs> these like cheap vinyl clings. The juxtaposition is crazy. I did something similar in my bathroom when I was a kid. I I put like little marine life cling uh, stickers on my shower. <laughs> I wasn't even that young. I was like 13. <laughs> I just really liked them. I thought they were cute. It's kind of wild seeing something similar. But look at this, like real plants surrounding your tub. That is awesome. We have multiple showers, so this is like the proper indoor shower, and then this one is more open. I mean, it is covered though. I can't... It looks like it is covered. But it might just be covered. It might not be totally enclosed, so maybe there's still bugs that could get in or something. This place is very cool. I just enjoy how unique it is. Even if every design decision isn't my favorite, like for example how closed off this little toilet room is, it feels scary. Um, I just really appreciate how unique it is. Like they really, they made some decisions and they went with it. And there's a second toilet if one toilet wasn't good enough for you. Yeah, 
well, that is one of the coolest master baths I've seen with a view straight outside the water let's see, where did I come from? okay, it was here and then let's, I guess, continue down this hallway okay, this must be another bedroom with Okay, the train set and suddenly it's night that was very drastic quite a drastic change another bathroom I like these like stone sinks, they're cool but I'm very confused now that it's uh, night it's really changing the vibe of this place but on the other hand, I actually really appreciate it It's one thing that these tours can't show you is like the realistic passing of time and the changing of lighting Houses vibes can totally change from day to night When I was buying my house, uh, we drove by at night out to see what the neighborhood and the house looked like in the dark and um it wasn't like anything enough to like put us off it, but it was a very different vibe, you know? And just things look different. Like it looks really dark in here now. This bathroom is too much for me. The hanging mirrors and all that. Also, like, while I think it's cool to have the drain system underneath, I feel like this is a a uh, liability issue. <laughs> like like a trip and twist my ankle in there somehow all, all, everything I've said makes me sound like a very clumsy person and I don't think I am a clumsy person at all really but I'm just thinking about the general welfare of everyone and realistically you know what might happen in a scenario okay I guess if you get thirsty it's a really, okay, kids room, it's a really different kind of home and I have to say, I don't know that it's super warm and welcoming and inviting for children it's definitely an adult's like, dream home, I think, you know, a lot of people would love this paradise um, is it, is it as comforting for kids? I'm sure they'd love being able to run around outside, but there's no traditional like, the house structure is so split and laid out uh, following these winding corridors which are outside which is interesting it makes the whole thing feel a little bit disconnected, a little disjointed but they clearly have kids I mean, there's signs that everywhere this seems to be like somewhat of a child playroom and uh, maybe they have dogs it's way it's fenced in, makes me think this is where dogs come out and go out uh, can I keep going this way? no okay, I think there were stairs down this hallway uh, this way, yeah one more bedroom, more bunk beds I have to assume that the bunk beds are for like kids' friends and not that each of these bunk beds is being occupied by a child because <laughs> that'd be like, what, would we be up to like eight children by now? I mean, some people do have eight kids, to be fair, but I think it's more likely that they're for friends sleeping over oh, we had a person there, did you see? alright, we have a gym that's really nice and uh, gym storage oh, we have like a steam room yeah and even like a massage table I assume I have never had a massage before or a massage because the thought of it deeply upsets me <laughs> I'm not a massage person like at all it, the thought of the thought of it makes me very uncomfortable so I've never done that I've never even t 
done like a manicure or anything, like I've never had my nails done. I don't like people touching me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this right now. Like, you don't need to know this. I guess I'm just thinking one of you is going to be able to relate to that. And so, I see you. <laughs> I guess this is just another nice uh, suite with a little private balcony. The uh, the fence that they're they're using around is very interesting. I like that it's unique and a nice bathroom. They're really using this stone kind of wall. It's slightly brutalist. One oh, that's even like an outdoor tub, and the roof overhangs. That is so odd. At least they have a drain over there. That is really, really odd. Okay, I feel like there was more, but... Oh my gosh, there's so much more. Okay, let me... I feel like if we go, like, it, this way. Okay, because we went... We went this way, but we didn't go left. Okay. Um, no, wait. We didn't go straight, that was it. Okay, so we went down there and we also went in this room at the beginning. But if we keep going down this way, this is the same room, I think. It does seem to be getting darker, doesn't it? Is this a bathroom? I appreciate how unique all the sinks are. They're all very interesting, but I don't think I like the art that they have chosen. I told you they really like Eastern religion and like philosophy, I'm guessing. What is happening in here? Why is this the darkest room I've ever seen? And it's clearly lit, but like, what? What? Ah. Okay. This is the big, I take it, the gathering place where people hang out by the pool. They have those big fan things that you see. I feel like I only see them in resorts. The pool is huge. Wow, like a built-in hot tub it looks like. And even like a little... What do you even call this? Like a paddling pool? I feel like they're great for little kids, you know? Practically impossible for a little kid to get hurt in a little pool like that, so it's great for them to like learn to get accustomed to the water. Pool table out here. A bar. This is definitely the party side of the house. And the, look at that, the water goes all the way around. Looks like it has shutters that could come all the way down if you want to close it off. Wow, this is a uh, very nice. Let's go over here to this little gazebo. Oh, there's a kitchen here. So you can sit and eat around the water. This is definitely, like, I feel like this is nine million. You know, some things, like the nice place in San Francisco, some things you're like, is that worth the nine million? And then you think, well, you have to consider the price of the land, but this one feels like it's worth it. So is this the kitchen? I mean, obviously it's a kitchen. Is it the kitchen? You know, sometimes the bougie homes have more than one. Three refrigerators. Is this one, like, just a freezer, I'm wondering? Wow. Wow. And, um, the rest of it with the professional setup. Wow. It's bizarre that it's, like, completely night now, though, isn't it? Like, I can't go over there. Another 
kitchen <laughs> and this one's the one that opens back up in the courtyard but it looks totally different now that it is a uh, night can I go in here I can yes no it's weird but it looks like it connects to the uh, garage see wait that's a bed it won't let me go in there but I can see it. That's a bed. That's staff quarters. Look at that. Oops. Oh my gosh, it's freaking out on me. What is happening? Tell me that that's not like the staff room, you know? And that just makes me uncomfy. I mean, look at how many guest bedrooms there were in this house. You're telling me they're all being used? I mean, I get that a place this big probably does have full-time staff, but they couldn't have a bigger bedroom. They had to have like a closet-sized bunk bed. Woof. Okay, I'm switching to Zillow now. I'm in Arlington, Texas. And I think this is so funny. It says, featured in Zillow Gone Wild. Like, they're proud of that. I mean, to be fair, Zillow Gone Wild isn't necessarily a bad place. It's not negative. It's not like, oh my gosh, my home was featured on there. Oh no. So, it's a, um, very reasonably priced 688,000, so like, less than a million is cheap for these videos, I feel like. And it's four bedrooms, four baths, just under 4,000 square feet, so it's kind of, uh, similar to some of size and bedrooms to other houses we've looked at been sitting for 133 days, looks like. So, <laughs> I take it, then no one's snatching this up. But, you know, expensive homes, although this one isn't as expensive, they do tend to sit for a really long time. Imagine how crazy it would be if someone saw a house for sale in one of my videos and they went and bought it because they had the means to. Oh my gosh, guys, they just cut the price though, look at this. Look at that, they just cut the price a whole $100. It's affordable now. Well, what did they originally list it at? $850. Oh, it's dropped a lot. It's dropped so much. To be fair, it last sold in 2019 for $400K. So, in 112% markup in four years? I mean, I know the market's been insane. I bought a house in that time span, so I know, but did you make any changes? Like, all right, well, anyway, we have to just see inside. This is beginning the start of the maybe looks normal, but appearances can be deceiving houses that are gonna be fun. So, Maybe this half the video won't be as relaxing. I don't know. It probably will be, but the houses won't be as nice to look at. Or they will. I don't know. They're gonna be crazy. Okay, let's go inside. Here is the outside of the house, and I think it looks like a pretty normal but big American home. I guess it looks kind of, uh, 70s? Is it the 70s when they did homes that look like that? I don't know. Sometimes I get my 60s, 70s, 80s homes kind of mixed up. Um, but yeah, nothing outrageous yet. Let's do the 3D home. Classic American street. It's, it's a lot of decor already. And I'm intrigued by their decision to include two of the exact same sign. 
a womb created right off the bat by an enormous flower. That uh, is certainly something. Okay, right off the bat, interesting decisions were made. that have like 25 feet tall ceilings and enormous wall space because most of the time it just looks so cavernous and empty and sad. I only like tall ceilings if you're doing something with the space. There's air flying everywhere. So the fact that they're using the space, I applaud you because most um, I feel like Americans who have these really tall ceilings, it's just a lot of blank, empty space and really massive cathedral-esque ceilings. Oh, here's the kitchen. That's an interesting counter. It seems like a pretty standard nice kitchen, although that's an extremely blue island. Uh, this is the dining room, okay. I mean, they had a vision and they went with it, didn't they? <laughs> I'm curious where they're buying all this artwork though, because it's slightly disjointed, like, it's not really a cohesive style, which... Actually, I wouldn't even say there's a cohesive style to my artwork, it's all like pieces I like, but they're all so big, and artwork is so expensive that it makes me think they're all- they're getting it at some home decor outlet or something. The blue lights. Mm. Another... Is this... maybe... like an artist they know did this, actually, I don't even know. Ooh, do we go upstairs or do we go left? I'm going left first. More artwork. Green wall. Wait, what? I'm turned around. Which way? Okay. I came from this way down the blue TikTok lit hallway. Let's go down this way. Oh, we're in the purple room. Okay. There's a clear purple theme here. room is surprisingly boring compared to the rest of it. I guess it's like a Jack and Jill. Uh, this is the other half of it going into the blue bedroom. The blue and yellow bedroom. Blue and yellow. Okay, we picked two tones. There's a curved wall in here. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting a curved Okay, back out in the hallway. What color bedroom will we find here? We've already done purple. Oh, this is the primary bedroom. The tile floor is, uh, it looks outside to me. It doesn't look like inside tile, but I think part of what's making it look so cold is there's like absolutely zero floor coverings, no rugs, nothing. I think it's simple. Even a thin rug underneath the bed would make it look warmer. Um... Wow! Okay. Okay. Starting to see why this is on Zillow Gone Wild. Up until this point, I was like, it's not the craziest house I've ever seen. Yeah, if you can't tell, I have not seen inside uh, these homes, so uh, 
I didn't know what to expect. I, I have never in my life seen a high heel shoe top before. I am losing it. It must be custom, right? I've seen this shape top with the swoop because it's nice because you could like lean on it, you know? I'm thinking this piece must be custom made. I mean, clearly this person loves shoes, right? We've got the, the built-ins showing out. I almost didn't even see the toilet. It's shoved in the corner and blends right in. Oh, that now you put a rug in. You put the rug down there. It's so gaudy and over the top, but I kind of love it. It's, it's fun. Someone out there would absolutely love this. Um, oh, there's an office right off the bedroom. That'd be great for me. <laughs> Actually, this would be a good recording studio because you just shut these doors. It's not a huge space. Oh, there's a lot of light here and wow, okay, there's a lot going on in the backyard. We'll get to that. There's a lot going on here too, to be honest. And this comes back out into the living room. Okay, let's go upstairs. What What's happening upstairs? I'm almost scared. I'm scared but excited. It says happy hour enter, so I feel like that's our clue. Ah. Ah, we've gone with a man cave theme. I see. <laughs> wow. Feels like if the Mojo Dojo Casa house were real, you know? Like, they saw Barbie and they were like, we have the Mojo Dojo Casa house at home. <laughs> Does it not get give off that vibe? It's funny. So they've gone with the Dallas Cowboys, I think. I'm not really versed in my football, American football teams or any sport. Oh my god, please tell me the shower curtain is not what I think it is from this vague rippled silhouette. Please tell me. I don't even want to look at it. I am fascinated and simultaneously horrified by this house. It's such a, an enigma. I, it's quite a nice, like, deck out here. It's very nice. How do I get to the pool, you know? Maybe I look at the floor plan and... So yeah, that private bathroom is definitely custom done. That's where that curved wall is. I don't think we even saw the laundry room. I guess it was just a photo. Oh, we should look at the photos because I want to see the backyard, which looked pretty crazy. Um, wow, that, that bathroom was just something else. What's, what's the odds that they used the words man cave in the listing description. I'm curious, what do you think? Nice pool? Is that a hot tub? It's awfully small, but I guess it could be with like a little bar. Yeah, they custom built that deck for sure, right? Interested in touring this home? Well, yeah, I guess. Out of fascination. Okay, what does it say? The luxury primaries downstairs offering stunning chandeliers and dual custom sinks, one of a kind bathtub, and spacious shower, including spa jets and rain shower, crowded in 24 karat gold. What? Why? Why do you need? 
house to the home right there. They're like, we used all this gold in the shower. <laughs> I called it a game room. They were smart. What? I need to go back to the photos. Go back. Take me back to the 24 carat. I don't even see the grout. What? even see it. I... Wow. Okay, um, I don't even know how we're gonna top that, and yet I know that we are. So if you want more crazy houses, stay tuned. We got two more to go. Ready? This house is in Colorado, and it's five beds, five baths. Asking price is 2.5 million, and it's a whopping 8,000 square feet. Uh, it clearly sits on a lot of land, like over one and a half acres. Like you can see here, it's a lot, and I think, I don't know what this is, a barn? I, I guess this is part of it. Um. That's the house, I believe. Uh, I will say I have looked in this one a bit because this is the house that made me think, oh, I want to do a video showing off this house. Um, and then I thought I'll make them all be crazy Zillow gone wild kind of homes, but then I can only find like two others. The, the last one we just saw and the next one we're about to see. So then I threw in some nice, bougie looking homes, the ones we saw in the beginning. Um, but this was the house that started it all for this video. And I am already dying to hear your thoughts. It is something else. Now I think this house is being used as a rental. I want to say just based on a few things I noticed, you know how you like, you see signs, like literal signs on, on the walls that will give you like rules for the house, so I kind of think it's a, I kind of think it's a rental. We're here at the front door and this is probably the most normal the whole thing is going to be, so soak it in while you can, because as soon as you enter, you are met with plants. Plants and plants and plants and plants and a dog. No, more plants. Just everywhere. As far as the eye can see. It's fascinating. It's your own little jungle. The theme of this home, I'm fairly certain, is plants and Hawaii. You're like, where's the Hawaii? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> oh, I kind of love this sunken fire pit thing, though. I don't know. I think it's quite cute. I, I kind of like that, yeah. Um, the TV. This is, I guess, the most traditional. I mean, not, none of this house feels traditional, but this would be, I guess, your traditional living room. But right behind you, there's a there's a hot tub, in, in in water and natural fountain, in the home. So. With more plants and a trash can and more plants and more plants and a lot of skylights, so they're growing, they're getting lots of sunlight. Okay, through here, this is the least plants I think the whole house has. <laughs> Never mind, there's still a lot of plants, and this is just the beanbag room. More plants, more plants. There's another 
living room. This house is huge. Never mind. This is the most plants. In fact, if I turn like this, not a single plant in sight. That's crazy. I turn and then there's more plants immediately. Um, the home is so 90s looking, I want to say, like 80s, 90s. Um, it's crazy. I kinda, oh, yeah, I, I love it and I hate it. It's an absolute fever dream. The Hawaii theme is starting. You'll see it come together more later. The kitchen is quite, like, interesting. The way it kind of wraps around here and there's this huge stove vent thing hanging from the ceiling. It's definitely feels like you could cook some fun family meals and people could be out here and you could be talking to them and stuff. Um, and then there's another dining room down here. Lots of dining spaces. Goes out to the deck here. Uh, this is the garage. And a photo of a lady from 2006. And workshop, I guess. Shall we go downstairs? Are you scared? Should we go upstairs? Let's go upstairs first. Okay, so these are the most normal parts of the house. It's just like bedrooms with a lot of mirrors and crazy wallpaper, classic kind of 90s stuff. Another kind of boring room. I mean, if you hadn't seen the craziness of downstairs, you wouldn't think that this is too unusual. Huge deck space, like there's just decks everywhere. The deck, I think, goes around the whole house. There's a bunk bedroom. They made sure to leave in the nature theme in here too. Like, we couldn't have the plants in here, so we had a picture of them. The bunk beds are awfully, like, low. Like, there just doesn't seem to be a lot of space between the mattress and that. And the bathroom. Standard bathroom. Okay, and then if we were to go downstairs. This looks like a dance studio to me. Um, we have a, another kind of normal bedroom, somewhat normal, and then down here, <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know what to say about this, it looks like a professional gym, like it looks like, this looks like a gym you would pay to access, like this is a really, really extensive gym, no? So, if my, my first thought was that, like, maybe the owner has a gym business in their home. This is clearly an entrance. You could go park up, access the gym. But then I'm pretty sure it's a rental, so I just really don't know. <sighs> and, um,. There's this really creepy looking, it looks like a safe door, kind of, but it's not. Uh, it's a, oh, is this the laundry? I wondered where it was. So this is a bedroom in here. Please mentally prepare yourself before we go in the bedroom. This is the master bedroom down here.
runs under the floor to the side of the bedroom There's no words As if it couldn't get wild enough There's a full pool down here that's the bedroom. There's the pool. And the bathroom. In here. There's just not a lot to say. You just kind of have to take it in and observe. There's just so much to unpack with this house. Really big closet, but it seems to be mainly linens. <laughs> um, just a lot happening. What about in here? This is how you access it. And I don't know if you saw, but this door says... <laughs> Please leave doors. Both doors to this master bedroom open during the daytime, as the fish may not survive if they do not receive enough natural light. We want to make sure they stay healthy for everyone's enjoyment. I know, Leia, right? Maybe don't put fish in the basement then. <laughs> Thanks for your cooperation. It's like... It's like sleeping in a Bass Pro Shop. Do you, would you want to sleep in the Bass Pro Shop? I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. It's just so insane. And we're not even done. There's still more, because, you know, there's a sauna in there. There's this giant pool. And then you think it's over, and nope, there's another crazy bathroom down here. And a very scary looking steam shower, I guess. I do kind of like all these like river rock pebble things. Oh look, they've done the geode kind of thing too. I mean, what else is there to say about this house? It's so outrageous. It's very misleading because I at first it was like 8,000 square feet, but look at it. It's, it's enormous and it's got a full gym. <laughs> Well, we have to read about it, because, um, there's just so much to unpack here. So, yeah, it's- it's horse property. It allows for four horses, includes two-story outbuildings, barns. Wow, okay. Outside, you can soak in the hot tub, fire pit, gazebo. There's room for more insane buildings. Wind down your interior hot tub under palm trees inside the house. Relax by the fire in your enormous sunroom with interior garden and water feature. Bamboo flooring, built in safe, fully pre wired audio. Heated floors. Giant workout room with floor to ceiling mirrors. That doesn't explain it. <laughs> Take a swim in the nine foot deep. That was a salt water pool with diving board and fiber optics. See in the steam in the three leveled custom steam room with backlighting in the walls and ceiling, operated by three generators. Serene Master <laughs> with koi <laughs> fetch. I'm laughing because if you don't know, that's not how you spell koi. It's K O I. So, 
when you say it like that, like, oh, the fish are so coy, they're so shy. <laughs> Just funny. With koi fish swimming through the room, I'll bet they're koi, given that they have to share a room with someone. Master bath with gas, fireplace, and jet tub with water that never gets cold. Cedar closet. Actually, that's really nice. That is wild. And don't forget, it's in Colorado. So these people really went to Hawaii. They were like, I love that. We're going to do that at home in Colorado. No wonder everything's heated so nicely, like you need it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been operating as some sort of Airbnb. I think I even saw some people say they stayed there and that it was really cool. Um, but if you bought it, would you live there? I just don't think I could live in that bedroom. Because number one, there's like no natural light. And I'm a natural light person. But two, one thing the pictures are not conveying is how the house smells. And I'm sure it smells not great in there, let's be honest. It's probably cool for a night or two, but I feel like after a bit, it would just be unpleasant. So it's probably better as like a rental than as a full-time home. Okay. I know that this has been a lot so much. On second thought, it's probably a better idea that I only did three of these crazy homes because like honestly this is just too much. If I had put in like three or four more crazy homes like this, you you would be like, it's too much Jubilee, it's too much. <laughs> um, so we're gonna look at the last one and then you're yeah, gonna fall asleep dreaming of terrifying, weird, bizarre homes with fish running through the floors. Oh my gosh, okay, let's look at the last house. Oh boy, we are in Florida. Florida has a lot of weird homes. It's 8 million, so we are back on like the bougie side of things. Um, I'm, I'm just seeing the size of the lot though. 54 acres. I'm starting to understand why it is so expensive. 54 acres is an absolutely insane amount of land, so I can kind of understand why this would be so much. It's 12 bedrooms, 9 bathrooms, 9,000 square feet. This is a huge home, and I, it is definitely being used as a rental because it says steady income. So this is the, this is the entrance. There's a huge separate garage building. There's a fountain. It's sitting on so much land that you know there's not going to be any nearby neighbors. This is definitely one of those homes that you rent out with your family, given that it's in Florida and it's in Claremont, Florida, which is, I wouldn't say like close to the theme parks, but it's close enough that this could be considered like a theme park rental. Um, I feel like anywhere in the Central Florida area, you put you could put it up for rent and families who are coming to go to Disney and Universal and all that could stay there. So the rental home uh, market in Florida is totally crazy. And we've looked at some really wild vacation homes. This one, um, this one's gonna be a little, little different, so. And the initial theme is athlete. Mixed with horse. I, yeah. Oh, and the theme is already changing in the dining room to Africa. Okay, so the dining room theme is Africa. I am pretty sure that this home has a different theme in every single room. So, we've got Africa. Hello. Oh my gosh, they've made it look like he's holding the chair. Oh my gosh. Um, 
In this room is sports, athlete. This is, it says Kentucky Derby above, so this is, this theme is Kentucky Derby. Yeah, you got horses, you got the hats. I mean, it is, it, it's something, isn't it? I have to assume they had fun doing this. Okay, the theme in here is Hollywood. I take it. Yep. Yep. That guy is creepy looking. He reminds me of another guy we once saw in one of these house doors. Yeah, okay, there's like a mural in the back. Okay, Hollywood. Weirdly George Foreman specific. Um, breakfast nook is oddly chill. The rest of the kitchen is the theme is kitchen. The theme is kitchen. And um, then there's like another room back here where all the kids can play. I have to assume that like all these machines are, yeah, they say free play. Cause it's like, imagine if they rent these houses out and then they still charge for these arcade machines. Like that would be so cheeky. So the theme here is video game very loosely from like an older person's perspective of video games. And then there's also like a pool table and another kitchen. Another kitchen within sight of the first kitchen. That's new. Um, this is... Okay, this theme is... Um, No chalet, Swiss chalet, Leia is so tired of sitting in here, bless her heart, but I know if she leaves this room she's gonna bark. So we have mountains, snow, wood paneling, fur, yeah, that's some sort of, like, skiing simulator thing. Okay, the theme is definitely Snow Chalet in here. And I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, there is, like, fake snow in these windows that falls. It's really bugging me how askew the bed is, though. Why not just put it flush against one of the walls? The bathroom is really normal looking. <laughs> like, they really, they found a few ways to work in the theme. They added some snowshoes, some crampons, whatever. But that's it. Okay. Um, okay, let's go down this way. Past the Africa dining room. Oh wait, there's even a... There are 20 birds and mammals hand paint on these walls, stamp photo. So there's like a safari game to play. You can win a hundred dollars off your next visit. This is so clever. Wow. Hundred dollars. At first, I thought you could win a hundred dollars, and I'm like, that's cool. But no, it's a hundred dollars off your next visit. To be fair, I bet this place is really expensive to book. Just probably not even one night. Okay, I'm gonna guess the next one is Yankees themed. Yep. With triple bunk beds. Wow. Oh. Triple, double, triple bunk beds. This is a small space for six children. <laughs> and this is so, this is so weird. There's just a hallway in which there's an Xbox. This isn't, this isn't cozy at all. It's literally a hallway. Really weird. And another room 
and the theme is golf. And they, I mean, they're definitely trying to fit as many beds in as possible, I get that, but like, wouldn't it just have been better if this golf simulator thing had been in its own room without a bed? Like, there's something fascinating to me about these family rental homes. They are, they're like so unique and like camp and cheesy and they're fascinating. Recently, a friend of mine actually was staying in one of these, I think near Disney, and so we were all looking at pictures and it wasn't like crazy like this, it was more like just a nice house, but they had like a Star Wars themed room, I think, and like a Disney themed room, and their younger, uh, you know, kid relatives really enjoyed staying there, and I just thought, oh, it's fascinating, as the first person I know that stayed in, like, one of these Disney vacation homes, and I think, you know, the price they all paid, actually, was really not bad, compared to staying, like, on Disney property, clearly this was a better deal, so they did that. Okay, we're on our third kitchen of this house. If I just showed you this image, you would have been like, yeah, this is a nice kitchen. And then I would be like, no, this is the third kitchen of the house. <laughs> and then you'd be like, what? What's this theme? What? What is this theme? Runner? Runner, I guess. What is this thing in here? I really dislike this room. It freaks me out. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's just like all motivational and hustle culture and I, yeah, it's not a good theme. But what is this? Oh, and this theme is wrestling. Boxing, sorry. Boxing, yeah. Who are these people down here? They're all smiling so uncomfortably. Are they real people? Are they like celebrities? Or This is something. Okay. What theme will we see next? This seems to be a normal bathroom. Never mind, the theme is peanuts. I mean, it was very loose as far as the theme goes, but there still was a theme. Oh look, there's a guy in here. Uh, I found myself in the laundry room. Not much of a laundry room, but... Uh, okay, on the other... I think we have to go to... Um, how do I get out of here? I'm trying to go upstairs. So, I'm going upstairs. Up the weirdly aptly themed stairs. Ah, oh, we've entered the medieval theme. Medieval games. Ah, oh, yes. So wait, just this room is medieval theme because this theme is themed after the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, this is the hockey room. I mean, they... They really, they love a theme, don't they? They love a theme. They really went with it. Oh, there's just random sponsors around it. Subway. And the other one is car themed. With the car beds. Oh, come on. I bet there's some kids that would love sleeping in those car beds. That's very fun. I think I had a car bed at one point. No, I had a bear bed. It looked like a little bear. It was like my first bed. You know, as a little three-year-old or whatever. I somehow remember that, but like nothing else from that era. Maybe I had a house three. I don't have any other memories from three. My first memories are like five to six. 
Okay, the bathroom. Do you have a theme? Yes, the theme is m motor dirt bike. I don't know what it's called. Uh, and this bedroom is the basketball one. Wow. This one is a little more loose in the theme. I feel like they didn't go as hard. Um, is this the whole house? We definitely, okay, we saw those three rooms. Did we see all these? Did we see this room? I don't think we did. What's this theme gonna be? Football. Oh yeah, well I haven't actually had an American football themed one. They are, I haven't been keeping track of how many beds are in this, like how many people it can hold, but I bet it's uh, somewhere like with room to support up to X amount of people, like, because it's a lot, they fit a lot of beds in this house. And the bathroom theme is still lightly football, very lightly though. Is that it? There's also, oh, a patio. And a backyard. There's a playground. Wow, a volleyball net. This is quite a cool property. I mean, I definitely think people probably have a lot of fun staying here because, oh my gosh, oh, you can't? You can't what? This is the diving theme. If water polo was easy, it'd be called football, lol. There's another bedroom in here. Wait, there's another bedroom. Oh my gosh. With room for six more people. Or six kids who got stuck in the outhouse, basically. I mean, let's be real. It's kind of what this is. It's like a separate building. All off on its own. I guess some teenagers might like that. Like, I don't want to stay in the main house with the little kids. Like... I can kind of understand. Then there's a pool, and the pool is like totally separate. You have to walk to it. That's a huge pool. Holy cow. With loads of cabanas, and it's all screened in. This is really nice. And there's, a, there's an outdoor TV so they can watch movies and the Wow. And then there's a, the fourth, and I'm guessing the final kitchen. Although it's an outdoor summer kitchen. And another bathroom. This theme is. Uh, the theme is bathroom. There's a garage. I this guest room is a. Uh, it's another. It's another bedroom. No way. This isn't a bedroom. This is like a. A nineties esque. Um. Arcade. Nope. There's actually beds in here. Or a bed. With the ski ball though. Okay. I'd be staying in the ski ball room. I love ski ball. It's so fun. And last year, yeah, it was last year. Um, I went to Dave and Buster's for the first time in like five years or so. I hadn't been in ages. And it's funny. The last time I went, I still felt somewhat like a kid. Like I had fun, and. At the time, I remember feeling like, oh, I'm getting a little too old for this, you know, I'm 22 or whatever. And now, when I went to it last year, I was like, I'm getting really too old for this. <laughs> um, but we went for a friend who is like 10 years older than I am, so... <laughs> uh, there was no skee-ball. I was incredibly disappointed by that. 
there's no skee ball and my day was ruined. No. <laughs> yeah, it was like the one thing I was really hoping to do. So, uh, silly me. Skee ball doesn't exist in David Buster's, it exists in rental homes, apparently. At least ones here. Also, a weird family guy bowling game. This is crazy. So this is the room next to... Oh, I somehow missed it. Next to that room, got it. And that's the pool house, we saw that. But there were two bathrooms. That was the one bathroom. Where's the other bathroom? Okay, there's another bathroom in here. With the theme is bathroom. I mean, this is just one of the craziest houses I've ever seen. Wouldn't you agree? Look at all these things you can do. You can play tennis. I have to say though, like of all rooms in the house, this is probably one of the most uncomfortable. Like, these seats don't look comfy. I get that they're supposed to look like movie theater seats, but I would take comfortable seats over the theme at this point. One of three kitchens. <laughs> I mean, it's just... We saw this kitchen, right? this? Space not shown. <laughs> That's a really big space not shown, right? That's like as big as the bedrooms. That kitchen must have been that one. Oh yeah, that's that one. Okay. So, would you want to stay here with friends or family? What do you think? Or, would you buy it? Like, would you stay here? If you bought this place, let's just say, hypothetically, you've got enough money to own it and keep it, you know, upkeep. Uh, would you live in it? Like, as is? Would you revert it back into a somewhat normal home? Or would you just rent it out? Just like... I feel like you have to leave up all the stuff, you know, all the decor and the stuff they painted on the walls and whatnot. Cause like it just would, it would cost more money than it's worth to de <laughs> de theme this place. By far the worst theme was this medieval games theme. They painted a couple of knights on the wall. They'd stuck up some horseshoes for some reason that they definitely just didn't use in the Kentucky Derby themed room. And they stuck a couple of helmets on a side table. I mean, lazy. I don't even remember that bathroom. Oh gosh, it's just ah, my eyes. But they really committed. They really committed with this theme. Look at it. They've got black lights and everything. They've even got bowling alley chairs. I mean, seriously, props. The pool area is crazy. And, um, it's, yeah, it's clear. And it looks like there's a lake. So you can probably do water sports on the lake. They've got frisbee golf. Yeah, look at that lake. It's actually quite small now I see that. This is a huge, huge, huge parcel of land. Wild. Let's read about it. Steady income. It's a fully furnished turnkey property, so it already has bookings in place, so I guess you would have to at least see through those bookings before you could do anything with it. There's a state park minutes away. Um, this is crazy. It not only has the rooms designed and themes, they're actual full-size arcade games throughout a golf simulator, xbox, kickboxing, virtual reality training, what does that mean? Shooting that basketball game, NASCAR seated game, what does that mean? Like a racing game? Where was that? Everything you can think of, everything you can think of. 
in the guest house or two with the 12 bedrooms all glow in the dark themed. That's funny, they don't say like arcade themed or bowling alley themed, which is the theme, I think. No, the theme is glow in the dark. And inflatable games, soccer, billiards, basketball, pickleball, volleyball. 6,500 square foot screened area with pool. That is enormous. That's bigger than most homes. Most. Yeah. So where is it compared to, to Disney? Let's see. The home's there? In the water? That's where the home is? Okay. Here's... It's really, really far from Orlando, to be fair. Disney is like down here. This is, this is Disney. These are like the parks. So, like I said, it's like close enough. Even though this is probably like a f hour drive, I'm guessing. Like 45 minutes, an hour, I guess, depends on traffic. Um, that is wild. It's, it's only 50,000 a month, guys. So how much does it bring in, though? Because is it fifty thousand a month? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I get loads of amazing, sweet comments from you all saying that you love my house videos. They're so long, and they feel like sitting with a friend and looking at houses together. And that's exactly how I wanted to feel. You are my friend. We're sitting here laughing and judging and just kind of envying a lot of these houses, like this one. This was pretty amazing, and this is a pretty nice video of the house. So, if you haven't seen any of my other house tour videos, please check out the big playlist I made. It'll be in the description, along with a link to the last house tour video I did. Um, like and comment for the algorithm, and if you want another house tour video, just let me know. Please, please tell me all your thoughts. Favorite house, least favorite house, your opinions on the last three especially. I'll be waiting to hear. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel for three relaxing and fun videos every week. I love you guys lots. Uh, have a great rest of your week. I hope it's relaxing and I'll see you in my next video.